in the last video I did, well, just a few minutes ago now, um, we what we did was we took the World of Warcraft private server from Trinity Core, the database. Oh, I closed the server. Let me open that back up here. We took this database, the World Web Auth characters, and we put them into the remote server database. Oops, and you can see them here. And it looked like it worked out pretty good on that. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to modify the um, modify the repack to look at this server rather than uh, well this server, whichever one you want to look at. Um, we're going to modify the repack to look at that other server. So first thing we need to do is get rid of that. And we need to go into core and go to the auth server configuration. We're going to edit with Notepad++ or whatever text editor you like. And let's go back up to the top. And bind HPs everywhere. Pretty sure there's a Hmm, MySQL settings, here we go. So we want to change this to the IP address. You know what, we're going to go ahead and make a copy of this before I break it. So we'll just do a copy and paste. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for world server. Because chances are I'm going to break this. So we'll want to change this IP address to the one we uh, set up for the server itself, the MySQL server, and change the username and the password to the ones we set up before, which is Joe and test. And I think that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and start up the auth server and uh, see what happens. Hey, it looked like it worked. So let's go ahead and add Realm Trinity. And let's go ahead and start up the world server. Oh, we need to change the date based on world, I forgot. So we're going to edit that with Notepad++ like we did before. And we're just going to scroll down till we find the database. And we're going to do the same thing. And we need to do this for each one. Okay, and then Joe. Whoops, Joe. And Joe. Just, just, and test. Okay, so let's save that and let's run the world server. It looks like it's loading. And we'll just check out the. Uh, load on this. Of course the load's pretty high because it's loading everything right now. Now I wonder if something like this might make, uh, oh no, never mind. I was going to say the single player project, um, if it might make it a little bit more stable than it is. And, uh, but it, it won't. Almost guaranteed. But we, you know what? We might try that uh, at a later point. Um, one of the developers said they made a lot of fixes to it recently. And I don't think it's going to make a difference because I ran it in the version right before that. 
And uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference that way. But you know, I'll try it. I don't want to, you know, they might uh, might have actually made a big change to it that fixed everything, which would be nice. Okay, so that worked. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our, well, let's check this. Okay, the load's good. So we're going to go ahead and open up our WoW client. Maybe. There we go. And it loaded right up. And look at that. It worked. Holy hell. So that's all you needed to do. Uh, create a database um, or create a server. And then you just need to uh, add a user that can access it remotely. Uh, export and import the database into the new server. And then just change a couple lines in your um, server config. And that's all there is to it. And this would make it really nice. What's this button do? Oh, okay. Um, so all you really need to do, you know what, let's go back and create a new character just to make sure it'll allow you. Okay, this is taking a while. Okay, so there we ran into an issue. You see my SQL is really not happy right now. Okay, now the CPU is back. I'm going to do create new, I don't care. I'm just going to go ahead and check the load while it's... That's not too bad. Of course, we don't care about that. So, yeah, there's that. And let's go back to look at the load. This is what I'm worried about here is the, the load. Um, okay, so let's log out. Let's switch back here. And I'll just log out again, make sure the list comes right back. There we go. Perfect. That might have been a client side issue. Uh, I'm not real sure. Uh, let's just go back. We'll log back in here. Yeah, but this loads so much faster now. Um, I'm pretty impressed how much faster that is, just taking the queries off of the server. Um, seems to have really made that a lot faster. Now, the copying or uh, words here, when you have a lot of users doing it this way with just one server like this, you're limited by your network connection. So if you're going to be doing something like this, you want to try to make sure that it's all on an internal network. Uh, for example, I don't think I got it open here. Let me open it up and I'll move it over. Just got to log in. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, come on. Okay, so in your virtual machine, assuming you're using a virtual machine, you want to go into networking and make sure they're both on the same network. And you might want to even set up a virtual machine inside of that network to handle as a router so that they're going back and forth between the two um, and with only one connection coming out. That might make a difference, like put it on its own virtual switch. Um, 
that seems like it would be the best thing to do. That way you keep the traffic down um, and you're not so much limited by your your home network or whatever. Uh, so yeah, if you're, if you're doing this and like you're setting up a wild private server for a lot of people to connect to, like if you're doing uh, uh, what Warmain does or something, you want to do something a bit better with the network. Now, another thing you can do, um, and I might go ahead and do this since it won't take me too long, is you can make a different database server for each section. Like you can have all your characters on one, you can have your authentication on a different one, you can have your world on a different one. Um, and that might make a might make a pretty big difference. Um, yeah, so we might we might do that. And this might be part of the problem too, why it took forever. Um, we only have one thread on there. So that could make a difference. That could make a difference too. So yeah, a lot of MySQL op optimizing. I'll let you figure that out on your own. Uh, there's a lot of options um, in the... Uh, we're not going to make that mistake again. We're going to... Come on. Oh, this one's the right password. I'm using the MySQL password. I think that should work. Nope. There we go. So now we're root. If you go into the MySQL directory, MySQL dot conf. Oops. And then in the MySQL D. There's a lot of options in here. Um, where you can change how MySQL will perform under different loads. So we'll, I'll let you figure that one out on your own. There are a lot of YouTube guides out there um, that can do it. That's only if you plan on using this for a um, basically a public a public uh, well private server. So yeah, what I might do next is go ahead and make a separate data or make a separate server for each one of those uh, and that's it uh, there's not really not much more to it I uh, really don't even need a video for that do you I don't really think so because you would just make multiple of these MySQL servers and then edit the um, um, when you export it oops when you export you only export one database at a time instead of all of them. So instead of checking all of these, um, I would just check like the auth server and then export that and then import that into one of the servers. Now, how much, how much uh, performance gain you'll get, get out of that, I really don't know as far as queries go because these two are rather small so if you do that um just put two like these two together really uh, maybe these three if you're using the web and then use the world as a second one now one pretty good advantage to that is if you're running multiple servers then um that would also be useful multiple servers with the same uh authentication server you know so yep that's it um i got some ideas for another another uh video similar to this and along the same lines and we'll see if we actually do them uh probably not because i think we got the the base of the um information across and i think you got enough information to take off from here so if i make another one great if i don't enjoy i hope this helped uh like share subscribe you know what to do and we'll just call it done there.